Iran has unveiled a kit that appears to convert unguided surface-to-surface -surface rockets into guided weapons. The Labi kit looked similar to the guidance units used with the FATA-110 family of solid propellant missiles, although its four triangular control surfaces were inverted, according to James Defense Weekly, which based its analysis on Iranian television footage of a military parade earlier this month. As with the FATA-110 family, these would be attached between the rocket motor and warhead to steer the projectile. They appeared to be compatible with the 610mm diameter of the Zeltzel heavy artillery rocket. This development worries Israeli military experts, who note that Hezbollah, Iran's proxy army in Lebanon, has an estimated arsenal of 150,000 rockets aimed at Israel. Currently, most are dumb weapons. There is nothing new in the conversion itself, they have been doing it for years, and they already showed conversion kits for the FATA-110 family of missiles, missile defense expert Uzi Rubin told the Times of Israel. What's new here are the aerodynamics of the winglets, very unique, unseen in Iran to date and unseen in any other country. Going to indigenous design, rather than copying others indicates self-confidence. The purpose of the new and unique aerodynamics is probably to increase the maneuverability of the converted rockets. Unguided rockets have become a fixture of warfare since World War II, when Russia's legendary Katyusha pulverized Nazi troops. Though capable of generating fearsome and impressive destruction with a fiery multi-rocket salvo from a single launcher, artillery rockets have been inaccurate weapons that rely on saturating a target with massed fires. Precision fire would be the job of the Hoitzers and mortars. However, if Iran can convert an unguided rocket into a guided weapon, this would dramatically change the rocket's effectiveness. Iran has a variety of rocket systems based heavily on old Soviet designs, such as the Falak-1, which resembles the Soviet BM-24 240mm multiple rocket launch system. Iran also has several types of guided ballistic missiles such as the FATA-110, which has a range of more than 100 miles and inertial or GPS guidance. That the Israelis are worried is no surprise. Already concerned about Hezbollah firing massive volleys across the Lebanese border into Israel, now the Israel Defense Forces must consider the possibility of massive salvos of guided weapons aimed at strategic targets such as oil tanks, chemical refineries and military airfields. If these rockets are maneuverable, then they may be able to avoid interception by Israeli missile defenses such as Iron Dome. But Saudi Arabia may be worried too. Last month's massive drone and cruise missile attack on Saudi oil facilities was claimed by Houthi rebels in Yemen, which are battling Saudi-backed forces. However, the US and Saudi Arabia believe the weapons were fired from Iran or were fired from Yemen or Iraq with Iranian help. Though Riyadh has spent billions on acquiring American-made Patriot air defense missiles and radar, Saudi defenses failed to detect or intercept the incoming drones and missiles. How will those defenses fare against a massive barrage of guided rockets? However Iran has often made suspect claims about developing new weapons, such as a stealth fighter. Until they have been used in combat, we can't sure be sure of how effective the Labi kit is at turning dumb rockets into smart ones. Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami said Iran had inaugurated a surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile with a range of 1,400 kilometers named after top anti-terror commander Lt. Gen. Qasem Soleimani, who was assassinated by the U.S. military in January. We are mature in the defense industry, Hatami said at the ceremony, adding, Iran provides more than 770 defense items, counting for up to 90% of the needs of the armed forces. The country's defense advances in the last four decades are not comparable to any similar period, he pointed out. According to Hatami, in the last few years, Iran has achieved remarkable progress in defense sector, 
in particular, in the recent three years among which it can be referred to as the unveiling of the Koser fighter jets. The advanced Yasin training jet was designed and built with a new and indigenous platform. With the production of Yasin, A-90, and Fajra-3 training aircraft, which are in the operational testing phase, the complete cycle of training aircraft will take place," the defense chief added. The Thursday ceremony was attended via video conference by President Hassan Rouhani. Hatami explained that Martyr Soleimani ballistic missile has a range of 1,400 kilometers and Martyr Abu Mahdi cruise missile has a range of 1,000 kilometers.